Hi guys, how you all doing? I had a lovely time last week because I just love babies and I got to shoot two videos with this cute baby Krishy. I hope you've already watched my last video with Krishy in which I showed how you can make cute headbands for baby girls at home. In this video I'll be showing you ideas for baby photo shoot at home. Everybody who has a baby wants to get the best pictures of the baby's clip and you can obviously get a professional photo shoot done but it comes at a heavy price. So in today's video I'll be showing you a step by step tutorial of how you can click amazing pictures of your babies at home using things which are easily available. The model in today's video is obviously Krishy as I mentioned earlier and in this video I've been helped by my friend Nivedita who is an avid and passionate photographer. And before we start I just want to tell you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more such videos by clicking on the red subscribe button below. So let's start. The first idea is an amazing Instagram inspired photo which I call the flying away pic. And I'll show you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can easily recreate it at home. Start by spreading a blue plain bed sheet or any blue piece of cloth on a mattress. Make sure that there are no creases. Next take any green piece of cloth. We are here taking a green kurta and folding it like this. You can even take a green dupatta, a green shawl, a green stole, anything. Fold it to make it a little narrow and put it on the bottom edge of the mattress like this. Next, I've taken a plain white t-shirt and I'm folding it from sides to make it look like a cloud. I'm making a second cloud using a plain white sheet which I had. So you can basically use any plain white piece of cloth which you have lying at home. Once you're satisfied with the shape of your clouds, take six to seven multicolored balloons and tie ribbons of different colors to these. With the help of scotch tape, stick the balloons to the mattress so that they stay in place. Tie the ribbons in a knot and now it's time to bring the baby into the frame. Now just make the baby hold the ribbon string and let it play with it while you click shots from a raised platform so that you get pictures like this. I just love this idea because it's so easy to create and totally different from the regular baby photo shoots. The second idea is actually a different form of the first idea itself so it made sense to tell you about this as well. And I call this one the left for drying in the sun pic. For this also, start by spreading a blue sheet on a mattress. Take a rope and put it horizontally across the sheet in the middle. Next, take any two of your baby's rompers or one-piece suits and attach these to the rope using two clips or pegs so that it looks like these have been put out in the sun for drying. For making the sun, I'm placing a yellow bowl which I had near the top right corner of the sheet. Alternately, you can cut out a circle from a plain sheet of paper and paint it in yellow. For the sun rays, I have cut out triangles from white paper and painted these with yellow acrylic paint. Place these around the yellow circle like this. We will be making grass from green kurti just like we did in option number 1. Now it's time for the baby's entry. Place the baby in between the two rompers such that its shoulders are at the level of the rope. Attach two clips on the shoulder part of the baby suit so that it looks like the baby has been attached to the rope with the help of these clips. Use balloons or anything attractive to get the baby in a cheerful mood and now start kicking pictures from above so that you get pictures like these. I absolutely love the way these pictures turned out so colorful and bright. Idea number 3 is just the right picture for your bundle of joy. Isn't it cute? So let's create it. For this spread a plain white sheet or any plain white cloth on a mattress. Lay the baby on this and take another white sheet which is about 1 meter in length and 36 inches wide. Fold it into a triangle and wrap it around the baby like this. Babies actually feel very cozy when they are wrapped up like this. Next, we took some pink satin cloth and made a strip out of it which is 1 meter and 30 inches long and about 11 inches wide. Use this to tie a bow around the baby like this. Make little adjustments here and there to get the bow shape right. And your baby is now ready to be clicked. Wow, this looks adorable like your bundle of joy has just arrived wrapped in a beautiful bow. 
This last idea that I'm sharing with you, I call it baby in a box and it looks so attractive. So let's create it. For this, you need an empty carton box which your baby can fit into. Take one of the flaps of the box and fold it like this. So that you get a flat edge like this. Repeat this with the other three flaps to get flat edges on all four sides. Next, take the hanging part of the flap and cut out a L-shaped piece from it like this and paste it with Fevicol or liquid adhesive at the corner of the box to complete the edge. Do this on all the four corners. Take white acrylic paint and paint it on the edges as well as a little bit on the inside and outside of the box. Let the paint dry for some time and the box will be ready to use. Now place a plain white piece of cloth on mattress and place the box on it. We've placed some thermocol sheets in the box and then we are placing two cushions in the box to raise its height. Next again take a small piece of plain white cloth and cover the cushions with it. Place the baby on it. For this pick it is preferable that the baby wear something which is white in color. Now take gems or M&Ms or any other similar product and place these around the baby as well as on the baby. The baby is now ready to be shot. Click it from above or from some raised platform such that you get only the white part. This is so simple to create and will absolutely look like you got it done from a professional. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and do connect with me on my Instagram account which is Sleek and Natty and do 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 subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.